Morning everyone, my name is Dr. Nene. I am the course coordinator for this module. You're welcome. Let me just start by welcoming all of you to this module AFF 1501. And I know some of you are panicking because it's an online module and it's the first time for you to do this online module. I just want to assure you that the pass rate for this module is very good. And actually the failure rate as well is, it is, mm, you know, so let me just put it this way. People that don't fail this module, you fail because and you don't follow the instructions. Okay. So let us start with a simple thing in terms of how do I see that I'm linked? Because there is a question that I'm getting from a lot of you. How do you see that you're linked? There are two sites that you will get once you get linked. It's a main site and also a group site. A group site is the one that ends with a number with a T. So you're going to have AFL 1501 slash 19 slash S2, not S1. S1 is just an example for the first semester. And then a number with a T. It can be 5T, 220T, or whatever number with a T. That number with a T, it is actually a group number. So that's how you will see that you're linked. So if ever you only see one group site, which is this one, on your on my life on your my unisa you have to know that you are not yet linked okay and please do not worry in terms of or do not panic in such a way that you are now contacting me i'm not linked i'm not i know that you are not linked and you'll be linked and once you are linked you'll be able to do your work however it is your responsibility to to activate my your my life account because all the emails that we send we send only to my life account and if ever you don't activate it, you will fail this module. If ever you don't read your emails and respond within two to three days, you will fail this module. If ever you don't listen to your TA's instruction, you will fail this module. So I'm telling you all the things that can make you fail first before I can tell you how to pass this module. Okay. Now let me go into how to pass this module. Number one, you need to read. Read your learning units which is you will find the learning units not on this site. You'll find it here on this site, your group site. That's where you're going to find everything that you need. Like, for example, uh, overview, welcoming message, assignment, announcement, all these things and learning units. You'll find your learning units there and then you go through your learning units, read them and understand what is required. You must read each unit before doing your work. This is unit one. You will read everything before you do assignment one and carry on reading before you can go and tackle assignment two because each assignment, it relates to the work that has been put prior to that. So it's very important for you guys to read. And if ever you encounter a problem and you need to ask a question to a TA, this is a platform that you can use. Read, you can go to question and answer tool and just ask your question. It's gonna go, it's gonna be a private question that's going to go directly to your OTA. And now some of you probably will prefer to use emails. You will find your TA's email under overview. You must read the instructions of your TA. And your TA is going to put their email address in which you're going to be used. Please, I'm going to go back to my um, the main site. This is my main site. So don't come and send me an email and say that Dr. Nene is my TA. I'm not your TA. You do have a TA. And your TA, you'll find your TA under your group site, not the main site. This is a main site. This is where I communicate with all the students. The group site, it's when you communicate with your specific TA. I hope that I'm understood. So um, if you have any other questions, I'm going to keep on sending a small video so that you guys can understand in terms of this module. But this is an easy module. Do not, another thing, please. Do not send me a hard copy assignment. I will not mark them. This is a completely online module. You send it via the system. If ever you submit your assignment wrongly, you will get a zero. If ever you, you plagiarize, you'll get a zero and I will take you directly to disciplinary hearing. I know that there are some other students that actually decide to, to buy the old assignments from their, from, from their friends or anything like that. If you are found, I promise you, you will straight to disciplinary hearing and you'll be expelled from university. I must make it very clear in terms of that. 
So please stay away from plagiarizing, stay away from copying things from the internet without putting the reference, stay away from taking other people's work and saying it's your work because you will fail and you'll be expelled. Thank you so much and welcome to AFL 1501.